In this lecture, we are going to learn about the nonlinear abstract data structures, that is, trees and graphs. In previous lecture, we learned about linear data structure in which elements are stored and accessed in sequential manner. Implementation of linear data structures is pretty straightforward and simple. Nonlinear data structures are comparatively comparatively hard to implement in computer memory. Nonlinear data structures use same kind of linear data structures to implement different kind of behavior and properties in computer memory. Most most of the textbooks only write graph as nonlinear data structure since tree is actually a type of graph and have only one type of relationship between nodes that is parent and child child relationship. Nonetheless, we will discuss tree and graph separately. So tree is an abstract data structure in which elements are accessed and stored based on the hierarchical relationship among the elements. And that relationship is parent-child relationship. Diagrammatically, parent node is represented on top while its child node are connected with edges or lines below it. The first node from which tree starts is called the root node, whereas the last node which does not have ch any child node is called a leaf node. In the figure to the right, A is root node, B and C are its child, child nodes and left and right subtrees as well. Subtree B has left child and D, left child D and right child E and C has only one right child F. Since D, E and F have no child, child nodes, they are called leaf nodes. In a binary tree, each node can have maximum of two child nodes. That is, a node can have two, one or no childs at all. Actually, every tree you will study will be a binary tree. If it does not have property of binary tree, it will be considered a graph. In a binary tree, a unique path exists from root of the tree to every other node and every node has a unique parent parent node except uh, except the root node tree on up on previous discussed on previous slide is also a binary tree a binary search tree is a binary tree but like a sorted list there is a semantic ordering between the nodes of a binary search tree the main property of a binary search tree is that values in any node is greater than value in any of the nodes in its left subtree and less than the value in its right subtree in figure to the right, value in root node is 21, value in its left subtree is less than 21, and in its right subtree, subtrees are greater than 21. This definition holds for subtrees, recursively holds for subtrees as well. For example, in left subtree, root is 15, value in its left is 10, and to the left of 10, value is value in node is 8, and to the right of 10, value is greater than 10, which is 11. These are the abstract steps of an algorithm for searching an item in a binary search tree and inserting an item in the binary search tree. While searching an item, if tree is null, a false value is return, returned. If not, we will compare the item with the item at the root. If item matches, result is returned as true. And if item is less than the value in root, we search left subtree. If item is greater, we search for item in the right subtree. And to insert an item in a tree, if tree is empty, item is inserted at the root. If not, item is inserted to the left if it is less than the root. And item is inserted to the right if it is greater than the root. A graph is a set of nodes and edges. Edges or links connect nodes with one another. In a tree, Edge represents a parent-child relationship, but in a graph there are more than one kind of relationships. Nodes in a graph are often referred to as vertices or vertex, and nodes can represent any object or element, whereas edges or arcs can show direction, relationship, and weights or values between nodes. Directly connected nodes by a single edge are called adjacent nodes. And a path between two nodes is a sequence of vertices that connect two nodes. Graph in first figure shows a simple graph with nodes and edges. 
graph in second figure shows relationship among different people and third graph shows flights from one city to another and it also shows distance between the cities as well and coming back to the types of graph there are three kinds of graph a directed graph undirected graph and wetted graph in a directed graph edges show direction from one node to another in an un in an undirected graph edges simply connect vertices but do not show direction from one vertex to another in a wetted graph values are attached to the edges these values may be for example distance between cities time of travel or some other factor between edges between vertices there are many algorithms to traverse nodes in a graph and find a particular node but we will discuss only three of them these same algorithms and techniques can be applied to trees and are easier in that aspect easier to understand in that aspect so for graphs we will learn only theoretical concepts of these algorithms so that you can benefit in exams actually all of these lectures are from the point of view of exam or competitive exam anyway in depth first search we go down a deepest branch and examine all the nodes in the path to find a matching node all the vertices adjacent to current vertex in all the levels are examined first a stack data structure is used in the search for storing the vertex that was visited recently depth first search is mainly used to find a favorable or favorite path from a start verte vertex to end vertex in breadth first search all the adjacent vertices in the neighborhood of a current node are examined that means nodes in first level are visited first and when nodes in first level are visited we move to the un <coughs> to the unvisited nodes in next level and visit all the nodes in that level breadth first search uses q data structure when Im implemented for a tree or graph some of the applications of breadth first search include finding all neighborhood neighboring nodes in a peer to peer network and in global positioning system for na navigation system breadth first search is used to find neighboring locations crawlers and social networking sites use both both techniques depth first search and breadth first search breadth first search can be used to find a shortest path path that is it finds a path with least number of edges or nodes between two nodes but if values are assigned values or weights are assigned to the edges we can use another algorithm known as single source shortest path this algorithm finds the path by measuring values or weights assigned to the edges between vertices this algorithm uses priority queue data structure since in a priority queue element with highest priority is served first an edge with lowest value to destination is served first in single source shortest path that's all in this video subscribe and watch more to learn more